Structural Steel Construction Explained. This film includes the construction of multi-storey building, roof trusses for airport terminal building, roof covering, tank construction using jack-up method, pipe rack, pipe spool fabrication, steel pipeline, slug catcher, cranes lifting distillation column. Multi-storey building, the off-site fabrication of steel members and the rapid on-site assembly is the advantage of using structural steel for buildings and structures. The drawing showing the holding down bolts plan is sent to site. It contains horizontal and vertical dimensions for placing the holding down bolts as well as dimensions and elevations for the levelling plates slash shims. An erection drawing would clearly illustrate the method and sequence by which steel members will be erected and installed. The outline erection sequence. Erect the columns, install the beams, align and plumb the structure, tighten the connection bolts, grout the column base plates, install floor decking and pour concrete slabs. The outline erection methods use the reinforced concrete stairs and lift core to provide stability to the partly erected steelwork. Install any required temporary bracing or propping to the incomplete structure. Use the tower crane to erect the columns and install the beams. Use mobile elevating work platforms to gain access at height to install bolts and on hook lifting slings. Align and plumb the structure using turfers and wire ropes. Perimeter safety cables are installed at the interior and exterior perimeters of the floor and at openings as soon as the metal decking has been installed. Crane lifting operation. To lift columns, connect lifting hooks to design lifting pines or brackets. To lift beams, two-legged slings will be used and will be double wrapped to prevent the legs sliding together. Lifting hooks to have safety catch. Tag lines will be attached to the load to prevent the load spinning and swinging and to help to position it. Roof trusses for airport terminal building. The 200 ton weight roof trusses are delivered to site in sections by ship and trucks. The trusses are assembled on trestles and are lifted into position by a crawler crane with a counterweight wagon. The crane has a maximum lifting capacity of 3,200 tons. Roof covering, shown are the methods to construct the roof covering that is made up of deck sheets, vapour barrier, top hat sections, fixing clips, insulation, top sheet with standing seams that is rolled on site. The standing seams are clamped. Shown are the construction activities.
tank construction. A steel circular tank used for the storage of oil. As shown is the construction sequence using the jacking, also known the top-down method. The floor plates are installed. What will be the top ring is assembled and welded. The roof is assembled and welded. The top ring and the roof are jacked up. The next ring is assembled and welded under the jacked up ring. The process is repeated for subsequent rings. Finally, the bottom ring is welded to the floor plates. The advantage of this method is there is less time working at height. Pipe rack. Shown is the construction sequence, method and plant for a gas processing plant pipe rack. The pipe rack carries pipes and cables. The pipes contain gas and liquids that are transported to and from the different processes. Prefabrication of pipe spools. Pipe spools are fabricated from pipes and pipe fittings. Example elbows, flanges, tees, etc. in the fabrication shop. Pipeline welding and laying. Shown is a construction sequence, method and plant for excavation, bending pipes, jointing pipes by welding, lifting and placing the pipe string in the excavated trench and backfilling the trench. Slug catcher. The slug catcher buffers the incoming gas and liquid from the wellheads. It also separates the gas from the water and oil. The slug catcher is supported on reinforced concrete columns and beams. As shown is the construction sequence. Cranes lifting column, lifting oil refinery distillation column from the horizontal and rotate into the vertical without touching the ground using two cranes. <laughs>